we are mapping the lake bottom to look at how much sedimentation is on the bottom of the lake. And we are doing that in order to get a quantity of how much sediment needs to be removed for an upcoming project. We're gonna take manual sediment points and measure those. We're gonna coordinate that with survey grade GPS and a two centimeter accuracy sonar. And we'll take cross sections of um, sediment uh, and then we'll input that data into the GPS. Then we'll take bathymetry, so we're going to do transects. We're going to do north-south transects and east-west transects and get all of the underwater contour lines. The whole time we're driving, every two seconds, the GPS is logging sonar data, and so we'll end up gathering anywhere between five and 7,000 data points that are you know, depth measurements, including our sediment points. And then after we're done collecting the bathymetry and sediment points, we'll go around and we'll map each uh, inlet. We'll map the bridge. We'll map where the retaining walls are currently. We'll map any assets around the lake uh, that we can to kind of use as uh, reference points. So there's five feet of silt in there. And the bubbles you see coming up is that anaerobic hydrogen sulfide gas from the bacteria decomposing all the organic matter in the bottom. We basically take the rod, we shove it through the mud until we hit hard pan bottom. And once that's done, then we're taking a top measurement, so what the top of the sediment is, and then we take um, what the bottom of the sediment is, and then subtract those two, you end up with the sediment depth, and that goes into a, a GPS coordinate that is associated on the map. We take all that data back to the office, and we compile somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, five to 10,000 data points and put that into a 2D and a 3D map, which uh, engineers and planners in the city can use uh, that data to plan their dredging project. The upcoming project is a project to stabilize the lake edge with um, a solid edge. And what will happen during that project is the, the lake will be drained. And because it's gonna be drained, we're gonna take that opportunity to collect some of the siltation that has built up. And so the mapping will help us determine the quantity of siltation we need to remove, and that quantity will go in our bid. And then throughout that process, um, the guys who are doing the lake mapping will also be helping us monitor the amount of siltation that comes out of the lake throughout the project and make sure that at the end of the project, we've removed the correct amount of siltation. The increased erosion is due to just increased floodwaters. As that floodwater rushes in and inundates, inundates it's very fast and it scrubs away at those lake edges. Because our lake edge has evolved in, a, in such a way that we have a, kind of a steep face, it's an environment that the nutria like to live in. And so they, they go in and create these extensive burrows within these lake edges. And so they are removing soil and they are also eating the roots of the plants that come down. So they're causing the plants to die back and those plants are helping to hold the lake edge. So the, the nutria actually is a significant contributor in the erosion problem. We have these buffer areas to try to hold uh, the lake edge together for right now. However, there is some undermining that's going on. And if the lake edge is allowed to continue to erode, it will eventually put the trail and the street in jeopardy and we've got to stop that erosion.